Hello everyone, today I will show you how to stake your Glimmer tokens on Moonbeam staking app to generate staking rewards. First, let's clarify some terms of staking so that we know what staking APR to expect and how to choose a collator. For this, let's use the website stakeglimmer.com. This website provides excellent source of information for staking of Glimmer tokens. There is also almost identical website focusing on mover token staking, stakemover.com. You can always quickly check what's the current APR for Glimmer staking here at the top right corner. To keep it simple, let's say this is an average APR calculated from all active collators. At the moment the APR is very high because still relatively very few people stake their Glimmer and the amount of Glimmer tokens allocated for staking rewards is distributed among a lower number of staked Glimmer tokens. However, once more Glimmer token holders start staking their tokens, the APR will gradually start dropping and will eventually stabilize around 15-20%. to Due to lower minimum bond value for staking Glimmer than for staking Mover, staking APR for Glimmer will probably be slightly lower than for staking Mover tokens. At this moment the average APR for staking Mover is 22%. I expect that the APR for staking Glimmer will remain very high until February 20th, as this is when 100 million Glimmer tokens will be released to take flight participants, so after February 20th the APR will start dropping sharply, thus take advantage of this very high staking APR as long as you can. The minimum bond for staking given by the protocol is 50 Glimmer, so to be able to stake your Glimmer you need to have at least 50 Glimmer transferable in your MetaMask wallet plus some pennies to cover a transaction fee. And now how to choose a collator to maximize your staking rewards. There are basically two main criteria to consider to optimize your staking rewards. The first is total backing. On Moonbeam's staking app this is called total bonded. This is the total sum of Glimmer tokens bonded with a collator. The simple rule is the less total backing the more staking rewards you will receive from the collator. You can sort total backing from the lowest or from the highest by clicking on backing. The second number to watch is produced blocks per round of the collator. With produced blocks the rule is also simple, the higher the number of produced blocks the more rewards the collator will distribute to its delegators. By clicking on number 28 you will see the average amount of produced blocks and also the average APR for each collator in the last 7 days. Simply the higher the count of blocks and the higher the APR, the more Glimmer rewards you will receive. Now as for the risks of staking, let me remind that when you stake your mover or Glimmer tokens, your tokens are still in your possession. That means the tokens stay locked in your wallet, you do not transfer your tokens to another address. That means there is absolutely no risk of losing your tokens when you stake them. Also Moonbeam has no slashing, which means you will never lose any percentage of your staked Glimmer tokens due to potential collator's misbehavior. Thus the worst thing that can happen is that the collator you stake with is down or is removed from the active collator set. In such a situation your chosen collator is not producing blocks and you would not be getting any rewards. So temporarily not getting any staking rewards is the worst thing that can happen when you stake your Glimmer tokens. You can stake with several collators to diversify your staking exposure, but with each of them you will need to stake the minimum bond 50 Glimmer. The APR for individual collators will change a lot in the next weeks and so will the staking rewards from the collators. Now let's head to the official Moonbeam staking app apps.moonbeam.network to demonstrate how to stake your Glimmer tokens. Please always check the correct URL. First you will be prompted to connect your MetaMask wallet to the app. Once connected you will have to switch to Moonbeam network, so click on Moonbeam here at the top right corner and confirm on MetaMask to switch the network. You can only stake Glimmer tokens that are in your free balance here. So if you have some pending Glimmer crowd loans here, first you need to claim them, then they will be added to your free balance and then you can stake them. To stake your Glimmer scroll down, click on manage delegations and here click select a collator. Here there are two groups of collators, active pool and waiting. You need to choose a collator from this active pool tab. Here is the list of all collators you can stake with. Here we can see the parameters which I've explained earlier. Total bonded is the total amount of Glimmer tokens which is staked with a particular collator. The lower this number the higher staking rewards you will receive. The list is sorted by default by the lowest total bonded at the top and at the bottom there are collators with the highest amount of bonded Glimmer. 
Delegations is the number of delegators who stake with the collator, so delegations number shows you the number of unique Moonbeam wallets staking with the collator. Minimum bond is the minimum amount of Glimmer tokens that you need to stake with the collator. As I said, the minimum bond given by the protocol is 50 Glimmer, so at this moment most of the collators require the minimum bond 50 Glimmer. But in the future this minimum bond could increase. Currently there is a limit of 300 delegation slots to receive staking rewards available for each collator. I believe in the near future this limit should grow up to 1000 delegation slots. But for now 300 delegators can receive staking rewards from one collator. So if the collator is fully staked, meaning there is more than 300 delegators staking with the collator, as is the case for example with Tech Ninja collator, the minimum bond to be still among those top 300 delegators to receive staking rewards will increase from 50 Glimmer. So you can see that for Tech Ninja Collator the minimum bond to receive staking rewards is 65 Glimmer tokens. So especially after February 20th when circulating supply of Glimmer tokens will double and when even more people will start staking, the minimum bond to receive staking rewards will very probably increase above 50 Glimmer for most of the collators. And this blocks last round column shows you the count of produced blocks for the past 6 hours. To stake your Glimmer click on your selected collator, so let me choose for example this one. Here at the amount of Glimmer that you wish to stake, click on delegate and confirm transaction in your MetaMask. Once your staking transaction is confirmed, your delegation is active and you are staking. You can increase or decrease the amount of your staked Glimmer at any time by clicking on this plus and minus icons. Only remember, the remaining amount must be still at least 50 Glimmer tokens. Unstaking Glimmer tokens will take 7 days and after those 7 days you will have to manually finalize unstaking here on Moonbeam's app. Once you do that, your Glimmer will be transferable again. So remember, once you start staking your Glimmer, you are basically locking them for at least 7 days. If the price of Glimmer suddenly goes crazy and you will want to sell your staked Glimmer, you will be able to sell at the earliest after 7 days from the moment you unbonded them. To check your staking balance go back to your dashboard and here above reserved in staking you can see your total staked amount of Glimmer. Here at the bottom right corner you will see your latest staking rewards which you have received. Staking rewards are paid out each 2 rounds, that means you will receive staking rewards each 12 hours. And all your earned staking rewards will be automatically added to your free balance up here. I'm hoping I've covered all that you need to know to select a collator and to stake your Glimmer. As a reminder, please note that the APR of all collators will be very dynamic and will drop a lot in the coming weeks. So I think it is wise to regularly check your staking rewards to make sure you are still receiving the rewards and that you are content with your APR. If you have any questions about Glimmer or Mover staking, go ahead and ask them in the comments and you can also join our crypto community on Telegram. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye bye.